Hey happy people, this is Tanya Hall of Chocolate Mama from thechocolatemama.com and today I am really stoked. That's my California coming out in me. But today I'm really, really stoked, I really am, to be able to share with you um, really how, today's topic is gonna be how to stand out on Facebook with design um, using a very cool and free tool, love free stuff, Everybody loves a freebie, but I'm super excited to be able to share that with you just how to make your Facebook pages stand out with this very cool tool Called Canva you may have heard of it um, Maybe not but I'm going to share with you today on how to make your Facebook pages really stand out so I'm excited about that Okay, so on Facebook, everyone has, if it's whether you're, it's your personal profile page or if it's your business page, you're wanting to stand out away from everyone else. You want to make your page be, you know, original or fresh. And sometimes you run out of ideas of what to do with your pages. And some of you may have seen, like uh, right now you're looking at, um, this is my fan page. This is the Chocolate Mama fan page. You can always find me at uh, facebook.com forward slash the chocolate mama. Um, and this is really just an expression of, of me. Um, and it's really talking about, really for me, simple one, two, three recipes to build your biz online. And so here on this particular uh, site of mine, um, I share tips and strategies that you can use to grow your business and how to use social media, specifically Facebook. So, but today I'm gonna show you how to get a really cool banner, as you can see right here. This is what is called a banner page. And if you click it, it'll just kind of pull it out so you can see the full banner page there. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to build something really cool for yourself and for your business, um, that you can have. So let's dig right in. So we're going to go over to Canva. Canva is spelled C-A-N-V-A.com. Okay. So on Canva.com, this right here is showing you the beginning page. This is the sign up page. So if you don't have an account, uh, with Canva, you're going to have to uh, open up an account. It is free. Again, I repeat, free account that you can have with them. Um, it's really incredible. Um, if you're like me and really lazy and don't like filling out a lot of information all the time, um, most of the time for these these great little apps and things of that nature. And by the way, this does come in an app form format for you too, so you can download this onto your cell phone or your tablet. Um, you can just go to the app store for that. Okay. So, um, for me, I'm super lazy. I don't like filling in my name, my email and all that stuff over and over again. So you can very quickly just click this button right here where it says sign up with Facebook and it will actually pull over all your Facebook information, your name, your email, your telephone, or all that stuff will be automatically just kind of pulled over to them. And it's an instant account already filled out, um, like the autofill, um, files it'll fill in all the information for you and then that way you don't have to type in all that stuff however i already have an account but um all i do is go here open it up and it'll recognize me and voila so uh, you can see i've already been very busy with um doing lots of stuff for my website for different sites just for my podcast these are things that I built. So today we are going to do our own design, which is going to be really a lot of fun being able to create our own design today. And so it's very simple when you come into it, 
it has lots of options you can create a design or for us today we're going to click that little button right there and it procreates and opens up um just a bunch of different places in which you can create different types of templates the templates are already done for you so you don't have to worry about you know the dimensions and the sizes and things like that so if you want to write a great social media post this is a great size that facebook recognizes and um it looks really good same way with the presentation um if you want to do a facebook cover okay so we have two different types of face so it has facebook posts right here but also has facebook cover we also have lots of other um social media sites as well that they have on here um you can see it if you want to spruce up your twitter page your instagram posts those are already pinterest if you're on there i'm going to scroll down so you can get an idea um presentations if you want to u.s letter um a letterhead if you want to if you want to create a uh certificate also they have a place on here if you want to do a resume um so they have all of these i mean just really a lot of incredible things on here um if you want to create an ebook they already have that how about an infograph uh, so a blog graph all of these things are already kind of marked on here for you as you can see you want to create a gift certificate you want to create some business cards real estate flyer there's just endless amount of of things that you can do um here with this and then social media headers so here are all the different headers right here email header etsy shop header youtube header tumblr um so they, they have an array of different things that you can and yes most of them can be free now there is a minimum charge sometimes for things and i'll get into that in a little bit but it's usually about a dollar um so which i think it's is really cool um so now they have two different types of covers and i, I want to go over the two different types of covers that they have here so they have um facebook event cover and then facebook cover so i want to show you real quickly what the difference is so I just clicked Facebook event cover and so this is just a straight page across and you notice that it does not have the picture box here so if you're planning an event and you're trying to do this would be that box to you so I'm gonna go back here click up here at the top corner at Canva and I'm gonna go here to just a Facebook cover and if you do that if it's just a Facebook cover now it gives you the the space where the picture excuse me picture is going to be um uh and as you know your facebook pages they have you know place where your photograph photograph is gonna go so we're gonna stick with this particular thing and i'm gonna just kind of make this a little bit larger so it can be seen better there we go right here i think that's good so okay so great let's let's dig right in here so canva is incredible because they have all these incredible layouts that are already laid out for you so for example if you own a pizzeria and you have a pizza shop and you want to have a great looking page you can literally just click that put in your information and that's that so as you can see right here it has a little dollar sign right there so that's letting you know that this particular template will cost you one whole dollar but look at how incredible i mean i'm looking at this pizza and then making me hungry so it shows you just you know the power of the impact of a photograph and how incredible these pictures are and vivid that it can really um help brand you and your business um so i'm just going to click through a few of them here so you can just see how dynamic they are and how quickly it'll change over see just one little click i click this button bam and it, it has uh, a whole new picture on it so let's try it again so this is you know uh an eatery uh it is eat, um eatery and it's just showing you how quickly you can change it over let's say i am 
a wedding business or wedding photographer as this one is right here which is, is super fantastic very quickly you can make your pages look incredible 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 your pages to look fantastic and I'm going to show you how you can go in and maybe make some other changes on that um, a vacation spot or you just want to do inspirational things it's a really quick fix on doing that um, here's another four screen banner thing so just showing you real fast how you can come in here and just use these particular templates and have a great looking page and all you do is just go in and edit the text okay so I'm going to show you two ways today excuse me two ways today in which you can grab some of these things so we're gonna have a little fun so let's do this let's um let's find a really good template that we're excited about I love to find things oh look at this <laughs> Perfect chocolate for the chocolate mama. Yes. Okay. So anyway, so just kept just like that. I just click very simply this little template. But now I can go in and let's say um up oh, actually sorry sorry guys blind can't see that's actually coffee the sorry me um let's see if I can find some chocolate. Well, I'll tell you one thing that you can do. Well, at least let's see, search images and let's put in chocolate. This is a really cool part. So you get to learn something there. Chocolate and hit enter and it actually, voila, it brings me up a bunch of pages, a um, bunch of images that are, look at this, I love it. They are free. So let's click this one. Why don't we? Okay. And now that image is there. Okay. So the image is now behind it. And um, so very simply, you can go in and all of these things are clickable. This image right here is clickable. This is clickable. Everything is clickable and and you can edit it all everything you can edit or you can delete it or you can copy and paste it Any of those things you can you can tap on so we're gonna start right here with the big thing right in the middle and um, I am now going to t change these wording to To What shall we say? Uh, let's say Uh, everybody loves chocolate. How about that? Everybody loves chocolate. Okay. And then, um, and then I can put, and then if you want to, for this, you can even change the font size. So I can go right up here to 32, go to the word 32 is the size font. And let's say I want to make this just a head beer, a sconch bigger, that may be too big, but then I can always stretch it out. And there you go, voila can even move those lines they have lines there everything can be moved nothing is set you can even move the picture image around in the background see how I just grabbed it and I want to move the picture to the most luscious chocolatey things I can see there so I can move this line down and around and just kind of move things about just highlight it click it and move it although right now it doesn't want to move this line let's see if I can get it to move it I always have to make sure it's an X before you can move it there you go now now it's working out okay so I'm just kind of moving the lines around a little bit so that I can make room for everybody loves chocolate there we go 
so it's all in there so I'll, um and then now I want to just kind of move this line about two so um, so I'm just going to kind of move this out of the way for one second so I won't keep grabbing that and I'm just going to move these lines over to right there and if you can see how it gives me this purple lineup um, it actually is uh, um, lining everything up for me it's doing the purple lines which I, I love so that I can know that everything is all even on the screen okay so I'm going to highlight this other line and I'm going to simply just dr drag and bring this over. Okay, so um, you always have to make sure that this line gives you an X. If not, which I always have, can have sometimes a little difficult time. So there we go. And I'm going to move that over to where it is even Steven with everything else. And it'll give me the A OK -okay that everything is lined up. So now that I have it all lined up, there we go. I'm gonna put Everybody Loves Chocolate back in there nice and even. And then this is one whole box. So I'm going to bring this box over and line that up evenly. And then I'm going to bring this whole image over and line that up just like that. And I'm gonna grab this last little bit right here or I'm not sure if I even want that little bit in there, but that's what I love about this because I can decide whether or not I want these things to be here, okay? So for example, right now I know in my downloads that I have a little bit of a logo. This is a great part. You can download your own images and resize them to add them into this these pictures if you like. So, um. Uh, so I have this image. Let me see if I can locate it. There it is. I think don't want to go with that one or let's see if I have a just uh, another version of that and I'm just going to kind of scroll through my as you can see I use Canva quite a bit um, <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can just find just that one image if I can scroll back up may have missed it uh, let's see if I can find it I have this um, infograph there it is image that I like to use occasionally and so um, I think I'm gonna delete this so it's very simple you highlight it and you come right up here to the top where it has a trash can and you click delete that image is gone okay image is gone bye bye so then I can kind of pull my little infograph logo okay there we go and I want to put that right there on top because I'm advertising me okay great so that's starting to look really good right um, okay, so I'm going to go here now, and I am now going to change, because um, I'm not really crazy about that particular font at all. Um, I'm not thrilled about it whatsoever, and so, but I do want to, um, I do like the X part, so I do want to do that. So what I'm going to do now is go in here and change this font. So you go right over here to the um top left and i can change that font and then just have uh, just uh, an array of fonts that i can use i want to change to something that's a little bit more clear and so i can go um the chocolate actually i'm gonna i'm gonna write my first name first tanya hall and then on this side I'm going to put change to the same thing. So I think the other one was Oswald. So I'm going to change this to Oswald. And then I'm going to type in the chocolate mama. Okay. 
Okay. Now, uh, know, what, know whether you see that or not, but it's changing the um, font size, but it's doing that because there's a lot of um, information in it. Okay. So you kind of have to play with it a little bit and manipulate it just to, just a skosh. Just the skosh you have to manipulate it um, to get the spacing and the feeling and all of that stuff. But I just want you to see you have lots of other things. You can have filters on it. You can kind of change the filtering if I want to change it to drama. It'll change that filter to more darker, more dramatic coloring. Um, I can go back in here and put it back to normal. Uh, but you have lots of different things that you can change it intensity to um, I can make it uh, more festive actually I think I really like the festive because it made it give it a little bit more punch right so um, you can crop images here you can uh, flip them at spacing in between them you can arrange them so that you can have something come back or forth uh, more forward or back if you if you put an image and you want to put words on top of it you can put the words on top of the image so you have lots of different playing options here so I think this looks good um, we're gonna go right here uh, right here instead of saying small batch um, let's put in there I want to go here small batch I'm gonna use part of the word small batch um, and we're gonna to go goes a long way now I'm going to show you something else that you can do with this okay so right now all of these everything is in white but um, I can come up here and change the color from that from white to purple let's say okay purple doesn't look that great because it's too I want something lighter wow that's better um, changing it to yellow so if they don't have the coloration that you want, you can always go right here to the plus size and just kind of drag and drop until you find the brightness that you're looking for and it gets saved. And I want to come back in here also and I want to highlight and change the font size from 11 to about 14. I think it looks good. What do you think? Uh, I think this portion I want to make sure that I bring this down so it kind of matches the other one and as you can see we're losing the font itself so let's see what it looks like in black no not doing anything in black let's go with the yellow color again and we're gonna do the same thing over here make that that yellow color Hmm, I don't know about you guys, but it's not doing anything for me right now. Um, trying to find a coloration that looks good on here. But that's the beauty of it, that you could just keep practicing until you find something that works. I'm thinking that the white that was there at first is probably going to be, I don't know. The one of the better options. Let's see. Let's try one more color. Aha! Green is sparkling. Green is working out for me. Let's try one more thing. Blue. Let's try blue first before we give up totally. I think that's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. Love it when things work out. Okay. So, as you can see, this is a basic page of how you can create a banner for yourself and kind of, you know, everybody loves chocolate. And then, you know, if you want to put like your, your tagline, small batch, um, small batches goes a long way. A small batch goes a long way. And I can put the chocolatemama.com if I wanted to. So, and then finally, all you have to do is if you want to save it, you can rename your file. So it just serves serving coffee, but I'm going to, I'm going to rename this file to um every let's take the caps off there every body k 
can't spell today. Loves chocolate. Okay, so that's what I'm going to name the file. So I'm click done. And then finally, just so that we can um, have it, you just click download. And then it gives you three options with download. Do you want to download it as a PDF? PDF print file. I usually just stick with a, um, a JPEG, a P, P, a JPG, can't spell today, JPG, JPEG file. And it's real easy. You just click that and then it procreates and it starts to do its thing there for you. And then it's just going to download and go into your downloadable files. So that's where it's going to go. As you can see, it's right here for me. And then if I want to take a look at it, I can just open it up and take a quick look, quick peep. And this is the way it's going to look. Okay. So that's going to be pretty much a little rough draft, a final thing, but that would be really cool as a header if I want to change up thing um, on my Chocolate Mama page. So just wanted to give you that. And then let's go in and let's do one more. And I'm so excited, aren't you excited? We're gonna do one more, okay? So we're gonna just start all over from again. You're gonna go back up to Canva and click this little button. And I'm going to do a different page this time, okay? So I'm going to do one, let's do a post instead of doing a banner, sounds good? Okay, let's do a post. So I'm just gonna use social media. This is an average, so I like to use this one because this one is pretty neutral on just about anybody's website you can post this on Instagram it'll show up you don't have to change the dimensions social media just found a very neutral um, site okay neutral um, uh, pixel frames for that one and it goes great on Facebook it goes great on LinkedIn Twitter um, it goes really great on Instagram so it's wonderful so um, again they always start off with a bunch of templates as I said before you can use any of these templates. So like if I do teaching this one right here, it, it costs a, a dollar for that. Um, so if you want to use that, if you want to do this one brunch just for us brunch, isn't that so sweet? That is so sweet. I love that. Okay. So you can just kind of, um, kind of play around with this if you want to. But what we're going to do is we're going to do one as if, from scratch. We're going to use our own photographs, our own pictures. And so we're going to go right here on the sidebar, on the left sidebar, and we're going to go to uploads. Okay. And so I'm going to upload. Um, actually, I'm going to go through the whole process of up, uploading a photograph and I want to upload um, a picture from this weekend. So this past weekend, I went to an event and um you know what let me see i don't know whether did i put them on my computer i'm not quite sure i have a bad habit of of not doing that uh, of not downloading pictures sorry i'm going really fast through these picture files but i can always tell whether or not so i am actually i am going to do this lovely picture right here of let's try this okay so I just clicked that double click that picture real simple and it popped right over here it is right here okay so I'll do is tap that picture and it comes on top so I'm gonna get rid of this other stuff there we go uh, no I don't want that let's delete that's one of the things I love about this system I can delete anything I want to delete it all went away okay great let's get rid of that as well okay so now I'm gonna go here now I have a completely blank so as you see as I'm clicking it nothing is coming out coming no screens are popping up so I'm gonna pop that picture right back here again okay so this is actually from a previous live the dream event I just got back from live the dream event, but this is one from previously but as you can see I just put this picture over here okay and the picture's not quite fitting in here. So one or two things, I can just grab it and resize the whole thing, resize everyone and pull. But if I do that, it'll kind of cut some people out there a little bit, okay? 
All right, there we go. So I got, I think I got just about everybody in there as best, best I could. Okay, so now I got everybody in there. So this is an image that I have taken. So now I can go right here to text and I can grab this and just click over here. And all I'll do is click it and you see how it pops up here. Or if I want to, you can use any of the stock ones that they already have. Um, they have them in black and white. They have them in white or you can just kind of pick them out in color. So let's say for example, I really wanted to use that. All I do is click it and I'll, it'll go right there, okay? Um, and, and and you just kind of can play. I, I like to click different ones to see which ones go best with outfits and colors and things like that. If you don't like it, just simply click the trash and it'll go away. The whole thing will go away. So for right now, okay, as you can see right now, this particular thing is, is um not standing out and I want it to stand out. So I'm going to go right here to elements and then I'm gonna grab a shape and the shape I'm gonna grab is just this free one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this shape and I'm gonna bring it down, pull it out, open it up a little bit and I'm gonna set it right there, okay? But then I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to um, change the uh, transparency so that's this button right here and so I'm now going to make it I'm going to try to fade it out but not totally I'm going to fade it down to about right there so that you can still see see through but at the same time it gives a, a little bit of a um, an element of texture, an element of texture. So next I'm gonna go right here to heading and I'm going to take this heading because I want this heading to go, um, actually I'm gonna have to go here first. I'm gonna take this one. Hmm. It's not cooperating with me. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna arrange it and I want this to go back. So see how I did it? Just pop that right in there. Okay, so I'm not crazy about that particular font. So I'm going to go right here and change this. Do I want that? Um, and I'm going to say thanks. MLSP family for uh wonderful weekend okay so now that's in there all nice and neat I'm gonna pull it up and voila then we can even try to change the colors if we want to to see if we can find something that we like better that kind of matches and I think I have there we go okay we can even, if we want to, change this to just those few words. Thanks, MLSP family. And we can even go here and do other things. And I'm gonna do a function on computer, just control U because I want it underlined. There it go. Looks really neat, oh neato. Um, I think personally okay and I think it looks really good and so then all you have to do is come over here change the name again um, and I'm gonna just type it in as thanks MLSP family okay click done and it's just that simple I mean you could go in and make the images in here all of the different shapes that you can put on top of the pictures and they're all for free okay and then I just simply click download. And if I were to click download, it would download and save um, to my computer downloadable files. And then you can go and now post this beautiful image into uh, onto Facebook or Instagram or any other social media tool. So I hope, I hope, I hope that you guys have gotten a lot out of this. Um, 
I will be sharing, continues to share lots of tips and strategies just like this that you can use um, just so that you can stand out on Facebook or any social media platform that you would like to. Um, if you want to get other tips and strategies like I like to give out um, all the time, then please visit, uh, come and join me at thechocolatemama.com. Um, and there's going to be a link in here below. Click that and go there. I actually, when you go there immediately, you will see a free training there for you. Um, I'm giving an eight minute video on, uh, just how to get more leads and more people to your business using tips and strategies and things like this. So I hope you appreciate it. Thank you guys. appreciate you sticking in here with me in this, uh, training. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again. You take care. Bye-bye.